Okay, first of all, thoughts of the speech. Charles. Well, look, this was a political speech in the guise of a military plan. There wasn't a lot in the plan. There was obvious stuff, uh, meaning an air campaign to, uh, to support Iraqis and Kurds on the ground, which we've already been doing, and then an uh, analogizing it to what we're doing in Yemen, saying our objective is to do what we're doing in Yemen and Somalia, which are both failed states where we have been nothing except been doing nothing except pinprick attacks that occasionally knock out a leader or two, haven't changed anything on the ground. It's hardly a model you want to use. This is a political speech because this is a president trying to save a collapsed presidency. The numbers that you cited about the, the uh, lack of support, confidence in its presidency is such that if he were a prime minister in a parliament, he'd be out of office with a vote of no confidence. There's a way to try to tell America, as he said, America is safer. Who believes that? America has a plan. It's a very weak one, and it's got a president who will lead. Well, there are, there are not a lot of Americans who believe that today with the speech and even after the speech.